The year before the Great Depression, Republican campaign ads for Herbert Hoover boasted falsely that Republicans had put a chicken in every pot. And now, as the country begins to emerge from a near depression, Republicans are campaigning on chickens again. Our number three story, I'm not making this up. We have the video. The Republican frontrunner against Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid of Nevada is advancing a health care system in which you would pay for your checkups, your x-rays, your mammograms, your kids' stitches with chickens. Did, did I mention that I'm not making this up? Her name is Sue Loudon, and she has been beating Reid handily in the polls. So far on Monday, the wealthy former TV news anchor and current gambling executive appeared on local television and outlined her vision of health care reform. The interview aired following remarks she made last week in which she suggested using the barter system to pay for health care, and reasonable minds suspected she meant to say patient, patients should haggle with their doctors. Nope. As she confirmed in this interview, she meant barter. People walk into a doctor's office, and the first thing they ask you for is your insurance yes, card. Yes, they do. And when you mention you say you don't have one, when you can I speak to the doctor? Can I speak to someone? They want who's that in charge. charge. Yes, they do. Of course, go. they're used to doing that. But let's change the system and talk about what the possibilities are. I'm telling you that this works. You know, before we all started having health care in the olden days, our grandparents they would bring a chicken to the doctor. They would say, "I'll paint your house." They would do. I mean, that's the old days of what people would do to get health care with their doctors. Doctors are very sympathetic people. I, I'm not backing I, down from that system. I not backing down. Loudon is an executive at the Arshon Corporation, a gambling concern. No word yet on whether she's been able to convince her employer to accept chickens as payment for gambling debts. Democrats leapt to ridicule Loudon, launching a website called Checkups for Chickens. The Reid campaign sent out a press release asking whether Loudon had lost her mind. Loudon stands by her plan and today sent Plumline a link to a letter to the editor from a Nevada doctor supporting her plan. A Nevada doctor who just happens to have been a Republican opponent of Harry Reid. Let's bring in MSNBC political analyst Eugene Robinson, also associate editor and Pulitzer Prize winning, winning columnist for the Washington Post. What are you laughing about, Gene? This is serious Mark, American I'm, politics I'm, here. I would suspect you of having made this up if I, if I hadn't you know, gone and checked it out myself. And, and yes, indeed, what you just said did in fact happen. Now, should we should we take a moment to perhaps praise candidate Loudon for actually coming clean in a sense for letting us know that Republicans or at least this Republican running for Senate has actually no idea, no useful idea at all about what to do about health care costs, about how to help people uh, afford an absolute necessity like this when they can't afford it. First, we should praise her for showing Monty Python how it should be done. I mean, <laughs> you can imagine them sitting around, tossing around ideas for sketches and saying, I've got it, a bloke comes in and tries to pay his doctor bill with a chicken. And, and the others say, no, 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 that's a little too far out. Uh, let's go with a dead parrot in the pet store instead. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just breathtaking. Um, but I guess she's done a favor to the voters of Nevada who, who now know her health care plan, um, which is poultry for physicians. Now, she makes no apologies for this. She doesn't try to back off. Uh, she's at least tripling down on it in the number of opportunities <laughs> she's had to back off. And, you know, as we laugh about it, my second reaction uh, after that was thinking about the world of Harry Reid. We watched Harry Reid for a year pursue something that was unpopular in Nevada politics, as this candidacy clearly shows. She's in the lead in Nevada. Harry Reid pushed health care reform. What does it say about the political climate in Harry Reid's home state that someone can get up and say something like this about health care reform and actually be ahead of Harry Reid in the polls? <laughs> 
I, you know, I cannot imagine, Lawrence. I mean, it, obviously, Harry Reid has political problems in in uh, Nevada, and it, it, the health care reform bill was not popular there. We knew all that. Um, uh, we we suspected, perhaps, that a candidate would come out and say what other Republicans are saying, which is that uh, let's take an incremental approach and we should have started from scratch and this and that. I don't think uh, anyone uh, believed uh, that this would be the idea idea coming out of the mouth of a candidate who in a recent poll was was 10 points ahead of Harry Reid it it uh you know you f you feel that he's in a world of hurt right now and uh and you you got to feel sorry for the guy if this is the idea that's going to defeat him I, I, I want to test your memory here, Gene, if you can think of something that I can't. And that is the I, I've never seen a senator carry a bill like this that he knew was very unpopular in his state. And, and I'm leaving content aside. I mean, on, in either party, I've never seen a senator, uh, a leader in the Senate, carry a bill that he knew was so politically risky for him in the Senate. This what Harry Reid did for me anyway, from where I was sitting, was the most extraordinary profile and courage I have seen a senator do in a chamber that is not not known for political courage. Uh, Lawrence, I, I, I was thinking about that earlier, and I can't come up with a, with a, a counterexample either. I, I, if, if he knew, and he must have known, uh, the way the political wind was blowing in his state, that it was this deeply unpopular, that um, you know, this sort of barnyard um, uh, solution to health care reform would uh, gain traction, uh, it, it, it is extraordinary. And you have to look back at the health care fight and say, that was indeed a courageous thing to do. Um, but you also have to wonder, what is to become of this great nation of ours, Lawrence, if, if, uh, if, if someone who, who actually believes this is an idea for health care could possibly be elected to the U.S. Senate? Well, this comment may be the thing that gets Harry Reid back in the race. If, if Nevadans listen to this and realize what an idiotic thing this uh, candidate is pushing, Harry Reid may still have a chance. Eugene Robinson, Pulitzer <laughs> Prize winning columnist for the Washington Post, thank you very much for joining us on this very peculiar story. <laughs> Great to be here, Lawrence.